Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here in this one we are going to talk about this beautiful mobile application developed on React Native. And in the beginning we will talk about the various things a user can do on this application and later on we are going to cover the coding part. Okay, so let's not waste any time. Let's dive into the tutorial and check out the functioning of this application. So this is what the user will get to see when he will first launch the application on his or her device right so this is a landing page basically which says how can I help you and there is a button down over here we have some icons over here also on the landing page if i click on this first one what happens let's see so it has changed the complete uh, theme of the application right let's see if i click this what is going to happen so again the theme has changed to pink so now it's blue and now it's black and white kind of a thing, right? So this is how the user can change the theme of the application. And this is one of the most amazing thing, I think, which is going to make this application more, uh, you know, user friendly. Then we have this uh, let's chat button down over here, which will take the user to this navigation, to this, uh, you know, WhatsApp kind of a screen where the user can type message and then based on the message he's going to get the response now from where is he getting this response so we have uh, we have defined an api in the back end which is connected to google bot okay so bot as you know uh, you know is uh, a google platform which is very much similar to chat gpt so what happens is the uh, you know message goes to that api it hits that api and then based on the message the api gives us the relevant response okay so this is what we are getting for hi let me go back and change the theme to yellow let's see what's going to happen to that chatbot icon so it has also changed to a yellow icon right now if i will say can you tell me about ai let's see what this chatbot will give us as a response for this particular question so this is a loading animation which has again been coded in the back end so from there it's coming down on the front end like this okay it's very simple javascript library which you can use and you know to make things more interactive for the user so this is what we have got from bot okay uh, I hope you got it. Let me now cover the, let me now talk about the coding part. So there are two different applications which are currently running. So as to make this application works as you've seen, right? So this is the first application, which is the next.js. Okay. And as you can see over here, we have this file called Bard, uh, api.js okay where we have used just generative language uh, library then we have this google auth library installed and then we have this api key which is uh, for communicating with the bard api okay then what we are doing basically here is uh, you know this particular application is running on 3000 port okay so we have created a separate javascript service over here okay where we have defined the api and to this api we are just passing this message and then we are getting the response and then uh, you know we are get we are passing this response to the chat screen over here fine so this is the whole logic that we have used for creating the chat screen which i showed you you know on which we uh, type the message and we get the response accordingly so this is the code for this particular screen now if i talk about this screen which is your home screen so let me show you the code for that too just a second so this is the home screen right now here we have used uh, different types of hooks like there is use effect hook okay and from where are we getting these images and this uh, you know these this data let's check it out so there is a javascript file that i've defined the name of which is chat phase data.js wherein you know i have put 
all the information related to whatever I want to see on the landing screen. Landing screen. So is, if you see over here, name, Pogu, ID tool, image is coming from here. Then uh, this is the color. So we do not have anything in the secondary. All right. Now, if I click here, automatically the cha name has changed to Nista, which is coming from here. Okay, if I click here on this, the name has changed from Nista to Pega. So it's coming from here. Right. So basically what we are doing here is we are using this JavaScript file as a database. Fine. As a store from where we are picking up the data and then we are sending the data to the front end using the JavaScript coding hooks. Fine. This is app.js where we are calling this home screen navigation. Now what is there in home screen navigation? Let's check it out. So as you, can, as you know, uh, there are two different screens we have created for this application. One is the home screen and the second one is the chat screen. So the home screen we are calling is this, right? Okay. What do we have in the home screen? I have already showed it to you. So this is where we have all the color schema defined, you know, the images and all the touchability function. Now, if we touch this automatically, the theme changes. If we touch this again, the theme changes. So this is what we can do with the help of uh, elements like touchability. Then we have a button down over here, which is helping us to navigate to the chat screen. Okay. So this is where we are passing the selected face also to the chat screen. So that if suppose a user has selected this yellow icon, same can be seen over here also. Now, if I select this blue icon, same icon can be seen over here too. Okay, so this is how it works. Fine, and then rest, uh, I've already shared with you, see. So this is a message. If I send it, it will hit this global API.js which will give us this response and you know likewise we can do many things on this application so this is how a simple chatbot can be created with the help of the powerful library called react native right if you want to learn things if you want to develop these kind of things and you don't know from where to start you can contact me on the number which is getting reflected on your screen you can take my coding classes or you can give me the opportunity to develop a full-fledged mobile application for you which you can launch on Play Store and you know you can do whatever you want to with that application. This is it from my side in this lecture. I hope you guys liked it a lot. Please do not forget to like and share my video in your group so that I can reach to the maximum students possible and you know they guys can also come and check out these beautiful and amazing things which I keep sharing on my channel. Thank you very much guys for joining me. Have a great, great day. Guys, bye-bye. Take care.